Okay, doing a, a few answering your stupid questions type videos. As I take off my my jacket, I look quite large, don't I, in this shirt? I'm not that large. Um, okay. Hey, I'm getting used to the mustache. I was telling my wife, I said, you know, um, warning, I'm getting used to the mustache. Maybe um, you should get used to it too. And she's like, nope, shave it off. And you know, remember, I, I don't know if you guys, if I told you guys I broke my finger, if you watched that episode, that episode, fuck, that video. And then here's the weird thing, I banged my finger really hard and the nail became black. And at night, I noticed it starts to bleed. Like the next day, the, the bandage will be soaked with blood, but it won't be bleeding in the morning. So like even now, I think it's bleeding now actually, because <laughs> it's nighttime, it's too... 2.30 a.m. We just had an earthquake. I just made another video. I'm putting up three videos tonight. Um, but anywho, let me get to the questions. I've I've finally cleared off a bunch of questions off one site, and I am on my Facebook. Give me a break, man. I, will, I really wish I could uh, direct all the questions to one. There should be like an app that puts all the questions in one area so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Um, anyway, Michael on Facebook asks, Hey Victor, I have a question for you about your school schedule. How do you maximize the amount of teaching get time in your school? Is it uh, empty for parts of the day? For example, do you teach adults in the morning and before they go to work, public school students in the afternoon and adults again at the night after they go to work? Um, I teach mostly housewives in the daytime. Sometimes I'm called to a high school to teach high schoolers in the morning. Then uh, housewives in the daytime, then um, other high schools in the afternoon and more uh, business people, people who have jobs in the evening. So, yeah. Anyway, that's, uh, that's <laughs> I don't know, it's a, that interesting a question. <laughs> Is that interesting? Why do people ask questions like that? I'm making a video answering your question now. I'm just going to type to this guy. Uh, sorry. I should, I should, oh, damn. I just uh, I just sent him a Hanami thing instead. <laughs> uh, making you know how you when you type uh, I just did the copy paste. By the way, in, Jap in Japanese, copy pe means copy paste. Okay, so making a video response to this now. Okay. So that's that. Let's go on to the next question. I have quite a few of these questions. So many. Uh, let's go to the next one. Okay. The next guy says, his name is Autumn. His name is Autumn. I want to ask you a question. I just watched one of your videos about racism. So I'm going to just ask the question and then give you the background. Do Japanese people find it offensive for foreigners to have kanji tattoos? <sighs> Japanese in general do not like tattoos. That's the general feeling in Japan. However, they're more forgiving of foreigners in for whatever foreigners do, you know. Anything that you're not supposed to do in Japan is not that that rule doesn't really apply to foreigners all the time. Um, then she goes on to say and she says, I was on a site and someone asked the Japanese people on there how to write something in kanji. So his girlfriend get a tattoo on her. There was an older Japanese gentleman on there and he said he was like uh, was like that is racist very blunt about it and there was a lot of talk about how Japanese people find that offensive I've never heard of it um, no I think they just think it's crass and in bad taste but they forgive you for it you know like we forgive foreigners who the Europeans who come over and dress dress like they're in the 1980s you know yeah we don't care um, then she goes on to say she says I think they were to say anything against the older Japanese gentleman or oh, the other Japanese I found it ignorance perhaps is it true but not racist um, I will say also this the younger Japanese are much more accepting of stuff like that and you see a lot more tattoos with the younger Japanese so I wouldn't worry about it too much hmm. okay next question comes from Adam March 6 he says he says, uh, I got, uh, what's the question? Um, let's see. Oh, what, what would happen if you avoid paying, <laughs> avoid paying your rent in an apartment in Japan? So apparently this guy, he feels like the, the rent company was, was not being direct with him. And he wants to know what would happen. 
I don't know. I would, wouldn't want to find out. Um, I would try not to um, have any legal problems in Japan. Um, often you may think you're in the right, but it's often... The desire to be correct is there, I understand that, but sometimes, you know, it's just easier and less stressful to just say, here's the money, fuck off, you know. So, let's see. Uh, so he moved away without paying them and they haven't contacted him. So good for you. Um, here's, yeah, here's the thing in Japan though. If you have a problem with, okay, here's the thing. If you're in a, an apartment, okay, you often need a guarantor, which means a Japanese friend will sign for you, okay? Which means they're putting themselves out for you. And this goes, uh, this, this goes for foreigners as well. Sometimes, I, I've been in a position in the past where I have hired a foreigner and I have vouched for that foreigner by signing, by, by guaranteeing his, uh, guaranteeing this guy, which means when he rented a place, I'd say, look, if he doesn't pay, I'll pay. But what ends up happening is that you call, if that if there's a problem, you're, you're the one who ends up looking bad. So if you do not pay your rent, then whoever guaranteed you, whoever was your guarantor, they end up looking like dicks. And do you really want to put them in that situation? I don't think so. So if you have that kind of money problem, just pay it off and just learn from your experiences. Hopefully, Hopefully you'll be in a better situation next time when you won't have to have to uh, deal with that. Let's see what else he says. I don't want to send, sound scandalous by any means. I know I I hired then for a break in the country. He, 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 he types as if he's drunk. I don't know what this means. Um, um, so anyway, everything worked out with that guy. Apparently I was having a conversation with him, but uh, okay. Here's maybe the last one. What's the last question here? Sebastian asks me, um, he says, oh, hi, I want to ask you a rather uncomfortable question. I'm sure nobody in Japan is happy to speak about. But what is actually being reported about the re remaining reactors of Fukushima? Okay, so I was talking to Hiko Shima. Uh, no, I was talking to Hiko Simon. Excuse me, not Fukushima. Hiko Simon two days ago. And he was telling me that apparently the radiation levels in Tokyo are lower than in London and New York right now. So a lot of people are like, oh, are you going to move out of Japan? You should leave Japan. It's you know, everyone's dying there. I heard all these reports, but um, apparently it's not that bad. So I live far away from all that. Like hundreds, I live. If you wanted to take uh, the Shinkansen to where all this is happening, it would take three hours or four hours to get there. Okay, um, it would take a week of bicycle riding at least to get there. Okay, so it's far away. Uh, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm choosing these random ways. Of, if you wanted to ride a unicycle there, it would probably take you two weeks. Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, it's far away. That's the point. So he says, he, then he says, um, what's it say? As far as I know, they are still being used and workers go there every day. Yeah, workers are, are going there every day. And yeah, one of my um, students was telling me that the workers that go there get paid piss poor money. And that's an appropriate expression because... Um, they wear these special suits, like hazmat type suits. And they go in at a certain time and they leave like seven hours later and they're not allowed to piss at all during that whole time because they're wearing their suits. But some of them cannot stand it, so they apparently cut holes in their pee pee area and they pee. And they take out their wieners in that radioactive area and pee. <laughs> and then when they come back to work, to come back to the, I guess they got a checkout area. And they use these machines to scan them, you know, like, bzz, 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 bzz. Um, and when that happens, uh, apparently some of them, they can tell the, the people who are scanning them, say, oh, look, it's showing up on you. You must have, you must have cut a hole in your pee area and you peed. <laughs> so they get, they get in trouble, you know, and they're, I guess they're fired or whatever. But, um, and they probably die a few months later from r radioactive uh, contamination, cancer or something ball cancer. I don't know what you get from that. Penis cancer? Do you get is a penis somebody look it up. Does penis cancer exist? I don't know. Um to prevent penis cancer, please be sure to feel your penis every day. Okay. Let's see. Um so he he says, "Oh, you should you shouldn't talk about this in a vlog because you could you could get in trouble with authorities." I'm I doubt that. Um 
how are citizens, Japanese citizens reacting to this? They're not. Nobody cares. Nobody's thinking about it. Anyway, that's all he's got to say. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. He calls himself a moron. I love it when people do that. That's the last question for tonight. I'm going to bed. Hopefully there'll be no, no more earthquakes tonight. And you guys take care. Thanks for asking the questions. I'm trying to catch up with all the questions. It's hard. Give the guy a break. Give me a break. And uh, oh yeah, and I've got a great new video on my Give Me a Break Man channel. Go check it out. Links somewhere here. Give Me a Break Man annotation. It's a interview of Cole House who did a documentary on hockey and reggae in Japan. And I really enjoyed uh, talking with him. So go check it out. See ya.